people to come and enjoy themselves to see animals that they looked after and want to show and it's for people to come and enjoy themselves. We've got classes for cattle, sheep, poultry, we have Shire horses, Shetland horses, private driving. We also have the light horse section as well and produce. I made some cornflake cakes, a poster and a bookmark. I came second and for my bookmark I came for uh, the prize was special. We're spinning. Um, one of our ladies is spinning um, dog fur. Um, another lady is spinning um, sheep wool that's just been shown from the sheep and then um, we're just spinning blends of wool that we've brought in with us. Well, well I'm part of a team of five police officers that cover North Wales dealing with all the rural uh, issues from farming and wildlife so um, yeah I work all over North Wales doing that so part of that what we're here today for is to obviously engage with the rural communities, um, speak to them on an informal basis educate them and show them what the type of work the team do on a daily basis really. In the main arena we had this morning the judging of the Shetlands and the Shires and the turnouts. Then this afternoon we've got a tractor display of Jones Bailers which are happening now. After that we've got the Dole Barn Film Horse Company. They are, well, they train horses for films. They've done for Merlin, that was on, and at the moment he is filming for a new series of King Arthur. After them, we have roller bale competition, and people enter and they roll the bale around the main ring. And they also have a children's little roller bale. Uh, we've come to take part in the Shire classes, mainly the harness class and the agricultural turnout class. Uh, I think they're very important and it gets people coming, realising what goes on in the farming community because it um, there's uh, good things for yeah for everyone to see and do here. This is the only time. This is the only place that we get. Um, to meet like-minded people, um, people who have sheep, who have, um, it's one way of getting fleece for our guild as well, because there's quite a few shepherds uh, coming in. Um, it allows us to um, um, engage with our community, you know, because off, because you imagine rural communities are spread out all over North Wales, so when we can bring everybody together in one, um, one place, it makes spreading the message a lot easier really. They can come to see us on an informal basis and discuss any issues of concern to them, and also allows us to power our education as well, what the message we want to put out there to our communities. I think it's a mixture to promote agriculture is the main one, that people to see, you know, the animals close up and ask questions, you know, um, you hear different things about the stock and everything, at least people can ask, you know, how they're looked after. We basically bring along d different exotic animals, including Harriad the owl, Poppy the skunk and the tortoises and many others, so we can bring exotic animals to the public. It's been very good, I think we've had a good turnout. We were all on our knees last night, looking and hoping the rain wasn't going to come and so far so good. Really enjoyed today. I've been speaking to an awful lot of people and all they've gone on about is the skinny pigs, bold guinea pigs. Uh, I think it's a well organised show. Uh, we've been supporting it for many years and it's one of the early shows of the season so it's good to get the horse out. Such a good friendly little show. Very good. I came last year for the first time and I really, really enjoyed it. And I love being so close to the arena so we can join in and see what's going on.